A classic pork chop. A classic grilled pork chop never goes out of style. That's why we had to make a stop here at Union Bistro. This beautiful pork chop here. Take a look at this beauty. I mean, the Colorado Pork Barbecue Tour just keeps getting more delicious. All these incredible creations coming out of our state. Chef Chris Dryling over here at Union Bistro. Chef, tell me about this incredible pork chop. It's like, is it like 50 pounds? <laughs> it feels like it. I mean, like lifting weights here. It's gorgeous. So it is. It's a, it's a monster. It's actually a 14 ounce double bone pork chop. Uh, and really for the plate that it is, um, there's a lot more that goes into it beforehand. Um, so these are actually um, center cut pork chops uh, that we, we put into a process called brining. Um, you have for to 24 brine hours. something of this nature, right? It's so thick. So with this, yeah, we do it for two reasons. One, it, it really um, tenderizes and infuses flavor in the meat. Um, the solution that we use is pretty much just um, brown sugar water, some chili flake and garlic, and you know, some other secrets. Because uh, you really don't need a lot to flavor up a good pork chop. That's, that's a fact. Um, so then uh, we pull them out of the brine after a 24 hour period and kind of give them an oil bath, so to speak. We store them in a blended olive oil um, with a few more herbs and garlic and stuff. It infuses a little more flavor and it, it stops the oxidation process of it so they don't turn all green and, of course. and crazy on you like that. But, you don't uh, want a beautiful chop like that getting green. Absolutely, absolutely. It's <laughs> a showstopper, it is. And then you fire up the grill. That's right. So we fire up the grill here and, and uh, put beautiful marks on it. Um, since these are so thick and big, we have to finish them in the oven. So um, it gets really good marks on the outside and kind of some good caramelization going on. And then, uh, yep, she goes right into a hot oven and pretty well cook it through about 140. So then when we pull it out, it's still, I, as you will see, it's, it's a moist, delicious, hot all the way through. And what pairs so perfectly with pork apple? You have this beautiful homemade chutney on top. Absolutely, so yet again, we in-house, it's just diced Granny Smith apples. That's pretty simple too. We, we mix it in a solution of brown sugar, lemon juice, and cinnamon, a little bit of salt and pepper. We kind of bring it to a boil and then we make what, what is referred to as a slurry to kind of give it its thick chutney so it's not just one more sauce on the plate. Chef, I wanna bring up this menu because sure. here on your menu it says the chop, our signature double bone in pork chop. This has got to be, I mean, a total favorite here. It's, it's already mine, I haven't even tried it yet, <laughs> but I know I'm gonna love it, right? <laughs> so yes, this, uh, this has been on our menu since day one. I have personally been here for about 15 years and it is still my absolute favorite. So it's um, not going anywhere. Now, I grew up not. eating pork chops, not pork chops that look like this. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I mean, I love my mother's pork chops. Once a week, we did have pork chops. I do. Uh, it just brings back so many wonderful memories for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. But now going out to awesome restaurants across Colorado, pork chops look a little differently than they did in my childhood <laughs> for good reason. Again, sorry, Mom. And I mean, not knocking your awesome pork chops, but this guy is truly a showstopper. You look at it and you're saying, okay, I want that today, I want that every day. Those grill marks are perfect. Uh, that's what we love about celebrating Colorado pork and the pork barbecue tour is that we get to see how different restaurants, how different chefs play with their pork. And this, my friend, high five. Thank you very, All very right. much. Can we eat? Absolutely, All let's right. do it. Let's cut into <laughs> it. All right, guys, have some fun with us. Go to copepork.org and follow us on Facebook at Colorado Pork Producers Council.